we need to king g1 he goes king g1 what is northern back why is he so shocked look at magnus he's looking so both of them looking very stressed out no queen e5 huh? is he going to play queen e5 classy move let me explain to you why queen e5 is such a good move firstly you are stopping queen e8 any checks you're also stopping queen f4 check you are hitting g3 and let's say after a move like king f2 you are going to push your pawn with your queen really well centralized you can literally sense that magnus carlson is feeling the heat guys b5 played king f2 by magnus very bad move by magnus it seems according to the engines but where did magnus go wrong is actually very subtle yeah and this is something which i feel magnus did not take enough time here so he had 44 seconds when 40 moves got over right and they got 50 minutes added so magnus played this next move if i'm not wrong in just 40 seconds he just took the pot a strong move was queen f7 and i don't know if this is how good this is because if you play a3 i will now take queen f5 you play a2 threatening to queen but now check and you might say oh it's so risky there should be a check everywhere perpetual otherwise you lose well to king here you will go check and there are there is perpetual check because queen is too far off but that's what 50 minutes were for right you got those 50 minutes but magnus did not take that time to find this move queen f7 instead he just took this okay this is first step in the wrong direction because then he took here and then he went back and then he came in this was a nice move by Nodirbek. and now comes the second mistake where magnus had to give a check come here and then play king h2 very subtle difference is that check king here check king here b5 in this position after queen e5 check king b6 queen d6 check somehow you are not able to wriggle out of the perpetual. This is how actually Magnus could have held on. But he played instantly king h2 and this is the, I think this is a huge mistake. Huge. Are you scared? That's why you stare. Or do you want to show confidence? That's why you stare. Queen is beautifully positioned. You see b4, very nice move. Very calm. There's no check here. And if you go queen d8, check. My king comes up. He goes king f3 and Nodirbek just brings his king up to b5. And you know this king is not able to move up to this corner. That's the main thing. Magnus goes here with the king. The problem again here for Magnus is the king is misplaced. Check. Check. He plays king to c3. Okay, he's given a check. King c3. King d2. King c2 played. No, he goes, he goes check from c8. But then what if I... Ah, if I block here, he wants to give check from here. Oh, you can, you can. You know, this is, this is the trick you should go for. Queen h8 check. But now, now just queen d2. Okay, queen d2 check. Oh, he goes up. He goes up. Interesting decision. He doesn't come down. I thought this was better, but... Because, as I told you, right? In many of the lines, this king will come under counter check. Magnus gets up. Yes, B2 played by Nodirbek. Asim says, Sagar bhai, Super GMs ka bhi tilt aata hai kya? Classical tournaments mein, it's uh, also tilts happen. But generally you can... Oh, he resigns. He resigns. Wow, Nodirbek Abdu Sataro.